Hello out there, and quick PSA style video today, guys. I just wanted to take a moment to address everyone who is carrying a knife, and I'm guessing if you are watching this video, you are one of those people, or want to be one of those people, but if you are carrying a knife day in and day out, no matter what the knife is, you're doing a good job. <laughs> you're doing great. And I wanted to talk about uh, this kind of thing today just because uh, I know just from my communication with a number of people and some of the comments that are that I receive that there are people in this community who are just under a lot of pressure to try to get like the newest and the best thing. And you get caught up sometimes in like this obsession of of getting a luxurious item, which let's be real, that's what we're talking about here. We, we don't really need all of the knives that we have, thanks to my buddy Super Seal Steve for uh, talking about that in a video recently. But um, we don't really need what we have, we just need a knife. And no matter what you have, it's enough. It's gonna be okay. You know, you don't need to have like the, the best and the brightest and the it steel or the fanciest locking mechanism or anything like that. The two knives that I have here are some of the most inexpensive in my collection and they're both pretty darn good knives. The Thistle is an amazing knife from Kershaw that you can get for less than 20 bucks and this one could last you years and years and years. And then the one right here, this Gerber, was the first knife that when I was an adult and decided that I wanted to get into like carrying a pocket knife, something more than let's say a Swiss Army knife or a multi-tool or a box cutter, this is the first knife that I picked up. And just because of my personality and the obsessive way that I get, you know, this snowballed into more Gerbers and a whole bunch of different styles of knives and then getting into Kershaw's and CRKT, Spyderco's Benchmades, yada, yada, yada. Uh, but it would have been very easy for, for that to not happen if I were interested in other things at the time. You know, that obsession didn't need to, to, to take root. And I could have just been a person who had this knife and used it every single day for two years until I beat the hell, of it, hell out of it so much or wasn't able to sharpen it anymore or something like that and then I had to get a new one. I know plenty of people who do that. They spend 15 to 20 bucks every few years on a knife and that's perfect. So there's no need to have any other expectations for yourself than that. You know, and everything else is just gravy. Everything else in a collection, everything else as far as the newest and the, the most innovative or high tech or, you know, cutting edge kind of crap that's out there. It's not necessary. So <laughs> yeah, whatever you're doing, you're doing great. I just wanted to share that with you guys. If uh, if there are one or two people out there who needed to hear that, who are under pressure to get the next sprint run or, or to try to keep up because they feel like their collection is stale, it's not. What you're doing is awesome. And, uh, and keep it up. If you do need any recommendations though, about budget knives, if you are trying to uh, to get the best bang for your buck, definitely reach out. I'd be more than happy to help you out and, uh, and, and get you working with stuff like that so that you can get a really sweet knife. But if you're the guy who just has a cheap no-name gas station knife, it is a hell of a lot better than not carrying a knife at all. And uh, I got a lot of respect for that because obviously we have a lot of other things that we need to spend our money on too. And, um, and as long as you're getting use out of it, it's doing its job. All right, that's it, guys. That's all I got for you today. Any questions, comments, complaints, suggestions, let me know down below. Thanks very much for watching, but take care and have a good one.